now we will see one new chapter that is differential equations in each chapter in differential equations you are going to get one mark four and six mark one question and ten mark two question and so the total weightage for this chapter is 30 mark and somewhat easy chapter also you can concentrate very easily so in this six mark model is there first one they will give an equation then you have to frame the differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants and uh, after uh, this method we are going to see the first order differential equations first order differential equations different types because there are three types of first order differential equation are there variable separable method and uh, elimination uh, and uh, homogeneous differential equations next uh, first order linear differential equation in y and x so that we will see later in detail first we will uh, see how to form the differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants see here the procedure is they will give an equation like form the differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constants in brackets against each y is equal to a e power 3x into cos of 3x plus b and in brackets they give two arbitrary constant a b that means what you have to frame the differential equation by eliminating these two constants now the procedure is how many arbitrary constant they have to give they gave that we have to see first two so two times you have to differentiate this equation and you should eliminate a as well as b so that is the procedure so listen carefully here first step y e this e power 2x i am bringing this side so divided by e power 2x so if you get to the numerator e power minus 2x is equal to a into cos of i am not differentiating at this step just i am rearranging the given equation next i want to eliminate this arbitrary constant a as well as b so differentiating this are differentiating with respect to x one time w r t means with respect to x so if you differentiate here we are going to get the product rule because y is one function e power minus 2x is one function so u v dash plus v u dash so here a is constant again this cos of 3x plus b you have to use the chain rule so here product rule y into u into v dash differentiation of e power minus 2x e power minus 2x into minus 2 chain rule plus u v dash plus v u dash e power minus 2x for y it is y1 or you can write a y dash also that is up to you y dash you can write or y1 because those are the notations y1 means dy by dx y2 means d square y by dx square y3 means d cube y by dx cube higher order derivatives or y dash y double dash y triple dash you can use is equal to a constant for cos of 3x plus b for cos x minus sin x so minus sin of 3x plus b again for 3x 3 x quotient so it becomes what minus 2y e power minus 2x plus e power minus 2x into y1 is equal to minus a minus 3a because 3 is constant a is constant minus i is a constant so minus 3a into sin of 3x plus b i wrote here as e power 3x but that is a print mistake e power 2x so e power 2x so i am bringing this side two arbitrary constants are there because i mentioned a b that's why I am differentiating two times. One time I already differentiated. This is a 1. So again differentiating with respect to x. Differentiating with respect to x. So if I again differentiate with respect to x. This 2 here is a constant. So I have to keep as it is. Again this one product rule. Y u v dash this is u this is v v dash means d by dx of this fellow that is e power minus 2x 
into minus 2. Next plus u v dash finish the plus v u dash. So, what is v? e power minus 2x into for y it is a y1 or y dash whatever it may be. So, that is a finished. Next again this one product tool I have to use plus e power minus 2x for y1 it is a y2 for y2 it is a y3. So, simply the notations of differentiations plus so u v dash plus v u dash y1 for e power 2 a minus 2x e power minus 2x into minus 2 is equal to here it is minus a 3a constant for sin x again cos x cos of 3x plus b into 3. So, it becomes what here uh, you will multiply here minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4. So, 4y 4y e power minus 2x next minus 2y1 y1 into minus 2 minus 2y1 e power minus 2x plus y2 e power minus 2x here it is minus 2y1 minus 2y1 e power minus 2x is equal to minus 3a into 3 minus 9a into cos of 3x plus b. So, now you have to simplify again this one. First y2 we will write, next y1 we will write, next y we will write. e power minus 2x again you can take common, then you can bring that side, you can rearrange. So, here what you can take common, first we will rearrange this one, y2, y2 e power minus 2x, because there is no y2, y2 term. Next, we will simplify y1 term, minus 2 y1 e power minus 2 x, minus 2 y1 e power minus 2 x. So, minus 4 y1, minus 4 y1 e power minus 2 x. Next, y1 finish, y2 finish, next y term, plus 4 y e power minus 2 x, 4 y e power minus 2 x is equal to minus 9a cos of 3x plus b. Now, e power minus 2x I can take common such that it becomes y2 minus 4y1 plus 4y is equal to minus 9a cos of 3x plus b. So, in the next step, this one also, I can bring this side. So, that it becomes y2 minus 4y1 plus 4y is equal to, if you bring the, this, that side, it becomes positive. So, it becomes minus 9a e power 2x into cos of 3x plus b. So, now again a is there. So, you need to eliminate that uh, a again. How can you eliminate? You see the given value. For a into e power 2x cos of 3x plus b, I can write again y. So, instead of this, I can substitute y again. So, it becomes what? y2 minus 4y1 plus 4y is equal to minus 9y. Since y is equal to a e power 2x cos of 3x plus b. So, next step you will get the answer y2 minus 4y1 plus 4y plus 9y is equal to 0. So, y2 minus 4y1 plus 13y is equal to 0 that is your final answer. So, that is the meaning of framing the differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants. Just you have to see how many arbitrary constants are there, that many number of times you need to differentiate, then you rearrange the equation, then use the given condition, automatically you will get the answer. So, you see the next problem now in the same mode.